food prices have again powered uh, retail inflation in May. Though the overall consumer inflation moderated to 7.04% from the 8-year high of 7.79% in April, the increase in vegetable and cooking oil prices remained the biggest factor in overall inflation. Both remained in double digits. The overall food inflation also eased marginally to 7.97% from 8.31% in April. Despite the fall, inflation remains much above the 6% comfort level of the RBI. In fact, the RBI had last week forecast inflation above 6% for the first three quarters of this financial year. We're joined by Sunil Sinha, Director and Principal Economist at India Ratings. Uh, Sunil, thanks so much for joining us. Take us through uh, you know, what you're making or how you're interpreting the latest numbers. Just a marginal moderation still uncomfortably high. Uh, yes, uh, it is still out of uh, the comfort zone of RBI. So while uh, one may feel a little uh, better when uh, one sees the number dropping from 7.79% to 7%, but uh, in effect, uh, it is still on the higher side and uh, our expectation is that uh, from June onwards, as the base effect uh, starts waning, till about uh, uh, October, November, uh, the uh, inflation uh, will uh, remain uh, on the higher side. I mean, uh, despite the fact that some comfort one can draw from the fact that uh, the excise duty cut on petrol and diesel prices, uh, though not reflected in the May number, uh, will start reflecting from June onwards. Okay. So, you know, this time around we've seen, of course, uh, vegetable prices uh, really being the major contributor. Uh, what are you most worried about, uh, you know, Sunil, going forward? Is it going to be continued supply-side concerns? Is it going to be those uh, crude prices that continue to spiral? Because we're seeing this now as a global conversation. We've seen how markets have been reacting uh, to the kind of pressure we're seeing on the back of these inflation figures. So far as uh, geopolitical uh, situation uh, at the global stage is concerned, mm. uh, I don't think that uh, there is any clarity about that. Uh, so the volatility, uncertainty, all of these will continue to play out, and which simply means that uh, the uh, pressure on commodity prices uh, are unlikely to ease. And India being a net commodity exporter, uh, we will uh, have to, uh, you know, uh, go along. Uh, the only way uh, some comfort uh, can be provided uh, to the Indian population is uh, through the customs duty. And in case of petrol and diesel, mm -hmm. the government has already done that. Uh, some bit of it has also been done in case of, uh, uh, you know, uh, edible oil. Uh, and uh, at the same time, you know, some restriction on wheat exports and uh, some of the other commodities. So net-net, the situation is that, uh, uh, you know, there is very little that uh, India can really do about uh, what's happening on the global stage. I mean, that's something which is given. Hmm. Uh, however, the uh, positive aspect of uh, looking forward is that the monsoon is expected to be normal this fiscal. And if uh, it plays out according to uh, the Met Department's prediction, then uh, some of the food pressures that we are witnessing right now uh, may uh, somewhat ease. Uh, not so much on the edible oil, but suddenly on cereals and pulses and so on and so forth. And also the vegetables. All right, Sunil. Thank you so much for joining us and taking us through uh, the latest implications of uh, those spiraling inflation numbers.